So this ceiling is just a modern ceiling now. It would have once had loads of lovely beams in it and that's what we want to put back in. Yes! I've seen on the camera. I've, se I've seen what we've got. I don't want to see it. In my heart, I haven't even seen it, honestly. Can I show you? Five years ago, we bought a 500 year old walled estate, which we are in the process of restoring. The original property encompassed the entire town of Kozal, a huge swath of countryside. This is just a tiny piece of it. The main estate was lived in by a lord, a lady, and their family. When the lord dies, the lady and the family have to leave the house That's because right. the new lord has to move into the main estate. So they would move to the dower house. The dower house. Back in the day, it was still part of the original estate. It's a large house with 20 rooms, but so much of the original character has been stripped out that I didn't see its potential. Dean kind of like half convinced me into what it could be like. We really didn't need another property. We've no. got more than enough here, but it was in such a beautiful location yeah. and it has all the bits that we don't have in the main estate. It has the rolling fields, it has you know the views. This is what we love about the Dow House. The views are just so beautiful. It has more space for that greenhouse. Yes. But it also has a little more of a connection with me because I used to go past it all the time as a kid and I loved it. It's got as well more privacy. With Saving the Manor, our social media, it's very public at the main estate. We have a little bit more privacy with the Dower House because it's not directly connected with the main estate. But we really want to share the journey we are on with that as well because it's as exciting as the main estate. I think as exciting, if not even more exciting. The exciting part is that we can restore all the historical charm it used to have. We love doing projects, you know. I think Dean and I are very much like when we change a room, we are hooked by that. And we're transforming it and we're like, oh my God, we can make this, we can create this. And then let's go and then do the next one. That thought process that, oh my God, we're almost finished, even though we're not. <laughs> I never thought that. <laughs> Did you actually do that? As much as we love the Dower House, there are lots of things we want to get rid of, like that wallpaper and this. I'm removing this huge fire that was in the living room. It's um, it was just way too big for the space and a little bit too modern for us. Can't wait to see it go and then the room be nice and square again. So in the Dower House, there isn't much charm or character left. We were so scared to show anyone the existings of the Dower House because people would be thinking like, why did you buy this? This is not like the main estate at all. I just, but we, I have, I have the vision. I'm hoping you. Oh yes, no, no. I can't say like, the vision. We are being very lucky by the sense that we are able to kind of like look at this property objectively of how it should be designed. So if, let's trip that back. Let's go back to actually what this property was. It's a very weird setup. It used to be a two up, two down cottage, beautiful little cottage. And then in Georgian times, they added a Georgian house onto the back of it. Yeah. So what we've got is we've got a two up, two down cottage and a Georgian house. Even though it's a new build now, we're gonna change it back to that. So we're gonna design the front section like a cottage and the back section like a Georgian house, which is really, really challenging because they're linked yeah. intrinsically. It's like how do you introduce the two styles that they were done at different times but still make it look cohesive. I'm very lucky that we've got here an architect. He's a mastermind. He has got far more vision than I do. We're, we're changing all the doors because the old doors were very modern. Yeah, they were just basically a veneer. They cut the sides to fit and you could see like the insides of it. It was, it was a mess. So we found these solid oak like cottage style doors which we yes. love and we've got these old Beeswax. Beeswax hinges, and then we've got a nice rustic um, handle locked part on it as well. But I already think it's looking quite Dean, smart. This is looking so good. But we're not very good at doing hanging doors, so we're hoping that we're cheating by using this, this hinge mat. No, it works with the style. These doors are unfinished oak, so we still don't know what we're going to do. I, gonna... think we, I think we're going to inevitably paint them because yeah. um, we've just got too much wood going on. But it is a little bit sacrilege, so we're gonna we're gonna we'll sit see. on it for a while. Yeah, yeah. So you can do a tiny pilot hole, which you will. 
You can't record. I need you to hold the door. Don't tell me. You, ha you haven't gone through. No, no, the door's moved. Looks really nice. These are the little details that we kind of like constantly looking for. We're trying to kind of like go for the period as much as we can. So it is, it's hard to find things that we can add and it's not going to look out of place. We want timeless stuff. What materials are timeless? And they're, they're the raw natural materials, marbles quarry tiles, slates, stone, that sort of stuff. You know that they're gonna last. We've got two big holes in the cellars of the Dower House that we need to kind of cover up and it needs to be a vent, but we need to make sure that mice cannot get in. So Dean found this one, which is made of cast iron, and then inside has got like this little mesh, so it's gonna look really nice. And this is what it looked like before. So it's, we're improving the little bit slowly. It's to introduce character yeah. is to introduce that personality that soul they were stripped from from the place yeah we can show people how we do that and see if it inspires you guys it's rare to get a property like this that is oozing with character because it hasn't been touched into, yeah. you know depending on the location a hundred years the dower house has been lived in its entire life so it's been hacked 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 yeah so for some reason they built another brick layer in front of the other one and then they rendered it and we really don't like the render we were going to put brick slips on it but if we can get the brick exposed well hey look at that bad boy obviously this would have been the main source of cooking this probably would have been a bread oven and you can see evidence here of an opening that would have fed the fire through to there that is what we're putting a bit more of our focus in at the moment. Yeah. At our house, but we've still got the main house to complete in the main estate. We've still got the servants' kitchens to finish. We've yeah. got the gardener's cottage to finish. Yeah. We've still got some of the gardens. That's not right, baby. She's I, me. What do you think about that? Just having a bit of a, a recess, and then we can add like a, an architrave detail right around there, so it's recessing in. I mean, we've been really successful, I think, so far with cottage style. Yeah. Because we've done all our cottages here. I'm the caretaker today just prepping it ready for our next guests. Every time I come in here it reminds me how much I love this house. It's just got such a lovely vibe. I don't know if it's the wood or it's just kind of like makes you feel cozy. I mean this estate you know which has not been touched we know how it should look like. There are so many things to do at the Dow House that it's hard to know where to start. We thought adding some wooden beams back into the main living space would warm it up a little bit. So this ceiling is just a modern ceiling now. It would have once had loads of lovely beams in it and that's what we want to put back in. So we're going to reintroduce some beams. But we're hoping they will look the part. The beams are the pinnacle in what is going to make our spaces pop in the cottage section of our house. We source them from our local reclamation yard. Old beams have already got so much character to them. Yeah. Visually and also just their lifestyle of what they've been used for. The hayloft, we've got the wooden beams, the you know, yeah. structure, even though they're not that old. The servants' quarters, we've got these lovely wooden floors. Oh yeah. And the ceilings. Yeah. yeah. These are the beams. We've strapped these ones together just so they hold and they don't bend because they're smaller. And this is the monster one. It is just Look, huge. I'm gonna lie down so you can see how big it is. I'm almost two meters. <laughs> no, he's not. By the way, beams are really heavy. <laughs> this beam is about six meters long, but it doesn't compare to some of the beams back at the estate. Some of the ones we've got on the estate, I can't even imagine them like lift, lifting them and moving them in and taking them up two floors, putting them on the roof. It's those huge ones where they like literally treats. Uh, what? Oh, Dean is the electrician. Uh, <laughs> Why don't we just like normal ceilings? Well, because look, it already looks better, Dean. For it to look right, it has to technically be structural because otherwise, the, if the beam is too small, it looks silly. Yeah. So this is a very heavy beam. So at yeah. least that floor is going to be super strong. Let's like, let's like a bit more. Was holding a camera. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Already kind of just is feeling very different. I think that the beams give you a warm hug. We're gonna just add. Oh my god. There you go. Good oh my god! I didn't even cut that. I just found that. 
I know we complicate ourselves, but it's just so worth it. It's so, well, it looks so good. Now we're planning as well to put cross timbers. We're using acro props to be able to lift the beam as high as possible. Cool, you can see already it's lifting. We're gonna use these, which would have been, you know, floor joists. And we're gonna run them like that. Um, also, just to make a note that I'm the one that films all the time, so it seems like I'm doing no work, but it's just uh, Dean likes to be in the camera. <laughs> 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 Starting to look very cottagey. Yeah! The old light was right in the centre here, so now we're gonna drill a hole right the way through the beam so we have our light. Sometimes the act of reading the house of something that you don't like can be very therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> and then there are other things that can really ruin your day. Like when we started smelling something coming from the walls. It was a bit weird. We smelled like urine. This is just so disgusting. So there's a hole in the wall which goes into this stud work. And I think there's a rat living in there because their boo-poos are way too big for a little mouse. Inside, it was just full of feces and everything. They don't defecate or anything where they live. So we had not only set up a house for them, we had also set up a toilet in the hive. Honestly, it was disgusting. That's crossed the line now because we, we found mice before and that's fine, but rats, that's another thing, that's just disgusting. In an old house like this one that isn't lived in, we do have mice. It's, it's inevitable, you know? And if no one's living yeah. in here, then it's, they're not affecting anyone. So mice are okay, rats are disgusting. Ugh. We had our suspicions, but we needed to be sure. So we set up a few security cameras. Board, I've seen on the camera, I've, se I've seen what we've got. <sighs> I don't want to see it. Honestly. Can I show you? Bing. Please, I think it'll be good entertainment for uh, <laughs> Dude, I know you've a, a YouTube. It. I, I, know you, I know you've seen it and I already start feeling it. Just, it's notified me again that it's moving. Oh, please. Can I show you? I'm never going to go to the Dower house again. I think we need experts in. I don't think I can. I'm actually having anxiety. I don't think we can do it. Look, feel my heart and I haven't even seen it, honestly. I... My heart was going when I saw it. It's that big and it's living with it's living with us in that in that house. Go on, show me. Yeah? Yeah. Just just press play. Just press play. There's nothing. Press play? It's awful, isn't it? It's very big. I know. <laughs> we sealed up all the holes to stop it coming back in. We came back this morning and it had ripped through the expanding foam that we put in the hole. Borgia does not want to come in the house. It's his biggest phobia, is rats. And in the meantime, I've set up a few traps. I mean business. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> 